Okay, on the bench here is an ICOM IC706 Mark IIG. This is a ham radio transceiver, HF, VHF, and UHF frequency range, and uh, all mode. Very popular transceiver. This one belongs to a friend of mine, and uh, as he was going to install the optional filters, he had a little accident and wound up uh, doing a little damage, mechanical damage, inside the radio. So it's here for repair. So let's take the cover off and uh, take a look at what we have. So I've already removed the, uh, the screws uh, for the top panel here so we can pull it off, set it off to the side, and take a look at uh, where the damage is. Okay, let's uh, spin the radio around here get a better look at uh, what we have. So the problem occurred when installing these optional filters here and here. And uh, you can see this flex circuit running across the top. This flex circuit is what connects the main board to the front panel. And uh, when he was installing the filters, he accidentally yanked this connector right off the board. Okay, so the flex circuit uh, really disconnects from this circuit here, but uh, he wound up pulling it right off the board. And also in the process, uh, damaged the uh, flex circuit itself. If we look carefully here, you can see there's a bit of a tear in that flex circuit. Uh, you can kind of see it's kind of obvious there if you look about where the tweezers are. And the connector, of course, should not be up here, it should be mounted down there on the board, uh, right down here where those uh, solder pads are. So luckily, there wasn't any damage to the circuit board itself, and it looks like all of the lands on the circuit board are in good shape. So we should be able to just uh, pull the connector off of this ribbon cable here, re-solder it down to the board, and then uh, replace this ribbon cable. Uh, it's really not practical to repair these flex circuits. Of course, we could try to scrape some of the insulation off and solder a wire across it, but uh, I think at the end of the day, um, it may not be a repair that lasts very long. So I've already ordered this ribbon cable from ICOM, so we'll complete that portion of the repair uh, when that part comes in. But in the meantime, we can take care of reattaching this connector back to the circuit board. So let's go take a look at how that's done. Right, maybe the first thing we'll do is uh, pull the cable, uh, the ribbon cable or the flex circuit, out of the connector here. And the way we can do that is just grabbing the edges of that and carefully grabbing the uh, ribbon and just uh, rocking them back and forth ever so slightly. And we can loosen that up and pop that out. So uh, this, is, this is the connector we need to reinstall back on the board. So we'll put that off to the side. And uh, we'll also pull this ribbon cable up out of the way. Okay, so the next thing we'll do is we're going to just take out these two optional filters, get them out of our way, give us a little more room to get down here to work where the connector goes. So uh, these things we can just grab and they, they're socketed so they'll pop out. So grab the first one of them, take him out, and we'll grab the other one, do the same thing with that one. Pull that out of the socket. And I try to do, pull them out reasonably straight so the leads don't get bent. So now with those two filters out of the way, uh, we can pretty easily see the contacts right here where we need to solder that connector back in place. It looks like there's uh, plenty of solder still on those pads. I'm not going to try to remove it, but, uh, but since all the flux has been cleaned away, I think I'll add a little bit of flux uh, to the board here to make the uh, resoldering a little bit easier. And uh, what I'm going to try doing is just bringing the connector in and laying it down uh, with a pair of tweezers right where it's supposed to go and then just touching the leads with a soldering iron to try to just reflow the solder that's already there. So uh, we'll give that a go see what happens. Okay, soldering iron's heated up. Let's see if we can get the uh, connector in here and position it down where we want it and uh, get the soldering iron on one of those leads. So I just want to get this thing lined up pretty well. We'll get the iron down on one of these corner leads here. A little reflow with that. So that kind of will help hold the connector in place while we do a couple of the other leads here. So I'm just going to push down on it 
solder another lead in there, another one, and get in there for that other one. So I've got this whole side all reflowed in there now. Okay, let's get in and uh, retouch these other, the other ones on this side here. I looked with the magnifier and I think uh, you know, these contacts here all look pretty good. Like, Let me stick the magnifier here between the camera lens and uh, the board. See if that looks like it does a pretty good job there. So I think there was enough solder left on the board and on the pins themselves and with the flux it looks like it really uh, reflowed nicely. So I think we're good with that. I'll just uh, clean it up a little bit with some isopropyl alcohol and uh, the next step really is to wait for the flex circuit to come from ICOM and we should be able to complete this repair. All right, so I'm just going to clean a little bit with a, uh, a cotton swab. I've got some uh, isopropyl alcohol on here and uh, we'll just clean some of that flux out of there. Uh, I'm sure there's flux trapped underneath the connector but there's not a whole lot we can do about that. And it uh, looks like we're getting, getting some off of there so that's good. We'll wet the other side and do the other side here as well. Got to be a little careful, uh, a little gentle here. There's some surface mount components, so we don't want to go prying those off the board. So uh, we'll just uh, get as much off as we can without getting too aggressive with doing the cleaning. I think we'll be okay. Okay, the connector is all installed and clean. Uh, I mentioned at the beginning of the video that we've uh, submitted an order to ICOM to replace this uh, damaged ribbon cable or flex circuit as they call it. So while we're waiting for that to come in I guess we'll uh, publish this video as it is and uh, I'll ask you to stay tuned for part two which should happen hopefully in a week or so when the replacement cable comes in and we'll complete this repair. Stay tuned for part two and thanks for watching.